the fastest growing sub region in the world, South Asia is facing its own set of challenges. To match the demands of development, cities are growing haphazardly, and so is the urban culture of producing and dumping large amounts of solid waste. Improper waste management, inefficient structural solutions, and climate change could escalate waterlogging issues to soon make our worst fears a reality. Cities are at risk of flooding. This is the story of two developing cities, Bharatpur in Nepal and Silhet in Bangladesh. ESIMODE's South Asian Network for Development and Environmental Economics, or SANDY, performed an economic analysis of solid waste management and drainage of these developing cities in an attempt to increase the climate change adaptation. Climate change means like a lot of extreme events, including excessive rainfall when your drainage system is like a not uh, made for those kind of excess events. What happens is your runoff will be too high and cities get uh, this uh, water logging issue. I mean, especially here, that Bharatpur Mahanagar Palika ma juu for upsaatan honsa. Tio fogar le bevastit gorna sangye hone. Sambhavita paratko sankhya pani bondne cha. Sang sangye shahar ko pani bevastit hone chale smart city bondne cha. Today, over 22 percent of the land area in Silhet and 13 percent in Bharatpur are at risk of flooding. This risk can be reduced to 4 percent in Silhet and 5% in Bharatpur if the drainage systems are improved with structural interventions. However, despite the interventions, the risk could spring back to 18% and 8% respectively if solid waste is not managed properly, significantly reducing the returns from investment on urban infrastructure. The message is clear. Structural solutions alone will not help curtail the flooding and waterlogging risk unless proper solid waste management systems are in place. What the city corporation can do, install some proper uh, waste management procedure uh, like composting bins or they can do it in an organized way. If the degradable waste can be converted into compost, then carrying cost of the city corporation will be reduced and people or the waste collector who will manage the composting, he also can be benefited by selling the waste. How does this shift begin? And would anyone care? Citizens are willing to pay 10% to 28% more for better solid waste management services. Poor को व्यवस्थापन एकदम रामरो भाई वाणी आमी तो सूल का कोटी तो दिन उनसे मार ली तीर ने एकदम तैयार सम। Sandy study shows that improved services would only require an additional 16% cost. Tactful amendments to services such as predetermined waste collection days, street side waste bins, and a carefully articulated tariff system can be implemented. We need to begin a major behavioral shift in our approach to managing waste. Segregating and composting waste at home can improve efficiency while reducing collection cost. Furthermore, imposing an additional import duty of less than 1% on plastics can reduce plastic waste considerably, while also generating revenue for managing waste. The good news is that investing in better solid waste management practices would certainly pay off well. Housing price in a cleaner neighborhood is found to be 25% higher than that for an average housing unit.
The project also invested in developing mobile-based apps to leverage innovation and technology into better waste management and service delivery. There's always been systemic issues in uh, cities like Kathmandu, Bharatpur, Ilam, and uh, through this research, we understood that that gap has to be filled, and that's what Nepal Waste Map does. However, for waste management to succeed in the long run, we need a regular public outreach campaign rather than one-off awareness event. With development comes responsibility. Urbanization need not come at the expense of environmental sustainability. With a more mindful waste management system, we can nurture an environmentally sound urban society while positively advancing the economy and the change can begin now.